We were expecting a happy Friday given Thursday's close, but that's not how it's quite turned out to be as yet, uh, unless, of course, the overnight session uh, sees a reversal. What do you make of that big tech sell-off, which is now turning out to be a global tech sell-off? It's not too much of a surprise given that multiples in certain sectors, so those very well-loved sectors, they're trading at really stretched levels. And it's also this sort of concern that we're seeing a very concentrated trade, whether it's in China or indeed in the US. But do you think that this sell-off has more legs or is this the kind of sell-off that, that would get arrested very quickly where buyers on the sidelines will jump in? Well, this is a conundrum because there is so much liquidity in the market. So you can understand why investors are flocking towards these high growth, well loved sectors again, e commerce, biotechnology, etc. But what is interesting is if you look, especially in the Chinese market, at the value or sort of the old economy names, they are some of the companies delivering on earnings, yet because they're unloved, that you just see no action in terms of share price movements. So what's interesting is if we are seeing the cyclical recovery economically, speaking in China, you should see the cyclical value names starting to perform well, and then the follow through will be the defensive value names. Yeah, Catherine, I'm glad you brought up that point because in the overnight session in the US, that's precisely what we saw. I mean, even though we saw declines in cyclicals, unloved stocks like financials, they were far more limited than what we saw in tech. So this makes me wonder, I mean, when the dust settles here, are you actively looking to rotate, for instance, in the Chinese market into some value plays? Well, you know, it's interesting going into 2020, one of the key risks for our growth portfolio managers was that you would see this rotation because in the Chinese market, you're already seeing this very crowded trade emerge last year. And then we had COVID and being defensive in China meant buying even more of these tech biotech names. So, you know, again, I think it's really important to have a diversification when it comes to investing in a market like China or markets like Asia. Just to give you an indication, though, of just this favoring of sectors, last week during the earnings season, we had one life insurance company, which is a state-owned enterprise, beating expectations, yet its share price was down in line with the sector. But a sort of internet-based insurance company with opaque results was actually up around 11% that day. So it's not about what you do, it's about which sector you belong in. And I think you're going to start seeing a change there because, again, these multiples are just really, really expensive.